Attorney General Farah al Rawi has said he will use the legislative measures in the parliament to treat with the actions of former UNC Minister Devant Maharaj in releasing the personal numbers of members of the cabinet. Speaking at a Christmas distribution in his San Fernando West constituency on Saturday, A.G. al Rawi said Mr. Maharaj's behavior is equivalent to doxing. You go out of your way to crash a system using certain truths. So if you dox the Prime Minister, who is the head of the National Security Council, if you inundate a Prime Minister with things that cause his system not to work, he can't answer the phone, he cannot make a phone call, he's getting a thousand WhatsApp messages, text messages, you're crashing the system. This is actually something which is akin to cybercrime. He questions the real motive behind the act. If this is the way the UNC thinks it is productive to run a society, then you have to ask your questions. Why didn't you dox the UNC when you were in public? Why was Mrs. Passard Bicessa's number not given to everybody so that the whole country could have called her? Because I'm sure the country would have called her on email gate, on prison gate, on life sport, on section 34, on ganja gate. Meanwhile, opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bisasa is reaffirming her stance in relation to the release of personal contacts belonging to government officials, saying the entire situation is being blown out of proportion. Mrs. Pasad Bisasa spoke on the matter as she handed out Christmas gifts in her constituency on Sunday. It's her view that the AG's claim of doxing on the part of Mr. Devant Maharaj is baseless. Do not think anything is wrong with uh, citizens having access to the numbers of elected representatives. That is fair is fair. Fair is fair. Crashing the system or whatever is a word that you're using. I, I refuse to even use it. I don't even know if that word exists. Uh, just another big word to f fright people in this country. Meanwhile, one attorney at law is describing the Attorney General's definition of doxing as surprising and odd. In response to A.G. Arawi's comments on Saturday, Dr. Emir Crown says it's, it is contrary to the definition included in the interim report and the report of the Joint Select Committee on the Cybercrime Bill 2017. In the report, doxing is defined as the practice of searching for and publishing private or identifying information about an individual on the Internet, typically with malicious intent. Dr. Crown also questioned the AG's claim that doxing is akin to a crime. As he said, both reports were inconclusive on the point.